busy 12 months for Blue Origin. Talk us through it quickly. Absolutely. So I'd say primarily uh, for our two main product lines, we've got New Glenn, the big orbital rocket. Key to that program is our engine testing. So the BE4 engine testing, first hot fire uh, back in October. We've gotten up to 70% power on a what will ultimately be a 550,000 pound of thrust engine. And then on uh, the suborbital side, New Shepard had an exciting test launch just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, went well over uh, 350,000 feet. We've got some more exciting tests to go uh, coming up in the next uh, couple months. So you're ramping up the development through the rest of the year at Blue Origin? Absolutely. For New Shepard, we're looking to fly people by the end of this year. Again, assuming things continue to go well with our test program, so that will be uh, an exciting event for everybody. Hopefully globally, they'll get to tune in for that. And then for, uh, for New Glenn, it's continued development towards flying our New Glenn rocket by the end of 2020. And you talk about that continuing development. What are the next steps in your market for success? Next steps for success, uh, key is more development around the New Glenn rocket. It takes several years to develop these, these rockets, especially one uh, that's going to be about 100 meters tall. Uh, you need seven BE-4 engines on the first stage to get New Glenn into space. So working on those engines is the most important thing for us on that New Glenn program. And then, of course, uh, New Shepard, step by step, going through, pushing the, um, the corners of the envelope of the system for a rocket which will eventually take people to space. And as these things progress, what demands are your customers putting on how you deliver those technologies? Sure, our customer input has been very valuable, especially uh, into the development, let's say, of the, uh, the New Glenn program, the orbital rocket. One great example of that is we started with a 5.4 meter fairing, so a, a, a smaller fairing. But after having speaking, spoken with our uh, 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 GTO customers or GEO customers, as well as our LEO customers that want to put a lot of small satellites into our fairing, we said, why spend time on the 5.4 meter fairing? We're going straight to seven meters. So again, taking the voice of the, of the customer and building it into our product, uh, we've gotten a lot of great response on that. Ariane, thank you for your time. Thanks so much for having me.